Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do an unboxing and show you how to set it up, this smart home energy monitor. This is the generation two view. This is the one with 850 amp sensors. So I'm, let's unbox it first, then I'm actually gonna hook it up on my circuit breaker panel. So here's what we get. This is the accessories. That's like for the mains. And then here's all the little individual ones. Let's open up this box. It does say it requires 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. So it looks like we got an external antenna, some wire, wire nuts, little plugs for ports we don't use, and some, a little wire harness. Now here's what these big amp, you get two of these big ones look like. They got a hinge. Just gonna put it on snap it. Let's just measure that real quick. Two and a half inches inch and a quarter and you know the size of wire about three quarters here's the smaller ones for the individual circuit breaker panels about an inch and five eighths inch and you know this way is about an inch also but the size of wire is about maybe three eighths and again you're just going to open it up this little tab they seem very well made okay so each of the current probes they have a three foot long cord. Even the small one has the exact same length, three feet. Okay, so something looks like pretty important. There's an arrow on these current meters. You're gonna have to trace the wire. The wire going, coming from the meter to the breaker. It's gonna have the like the current flow going that way. Yeah, and if we look on here, we can see the, the arrow. So the meter's gonna go on this side, the breaker's gonna go on this side. Same with this one, the breaker on the left. Okay, so there's what the app looks like. We're gonna download it. So you do have to download the app. It doesn't really come with an installation manual. So we're going to download the app and look at it. I'm going to go ahead and create an account. Okay, so you do have to create a username and a password and verify it. You have to go to your email and enter a code. So we're going to do this. Looks like I've got the Gen 2. Now this is where it says, if you've never done this before, go through the installation guide. So it does go through a bunch of safety precautions because you're gonna be working on a live panel, then they do want you to turn the main breaker off. So you're gonna turn the main breaker off, but again, up above the main, this will all be energized still. And you can call the power company. They are required to come remove your meter and remove power here if you, if you would like that. So it looks like the antenna is to be run outside the circuit breaker panel. This, this part's gonna be in the panel and you're gonna run the antenna outside. Now they do want you to put the bigger ones across the mains. I definitely would call the power company and have them remove the meter so that your uh, circuit breaker panel is completely non-energized. Now the mains go here. So when you connect the mains across the mains, you're gonna plug these in. I only have two mains. Then you're gonna plug one into A and one into B. Now it does give you a plug. You're gonna plug C. I don't have a third one. Okay, so now this is the power plug. You're gonna plug this into the bottom of this. Make sure it snaps into place. If you need to take it off, you can just press that little tab. And we got some bare wires right here on this end. Now it does give you a warning saying you'll need to connect them differently depending on how many of the big amp probes you installed. So I installed two of the big amp probes. Okay, so I'm gonna put the white and the blue are gonna be secured to the ground or the neutral bus bar. So yeah, you just take these parts off here. Then it shows if you've got two open breakers, it says there's supposed to be 15 amp breakers. You can just run a, a black one to one breaker and a, a red one to the other breaker. That way you get each leg of the 240 volts. The blue and the white one are gonna go to the neutral bar. Now, if you don't have an empty breaker that you can use, you can pigtail onto it. And that's what these are for. Again, it has to be a 15 amp breaker. You're gonna put this, take the wire out of the breaker, put this in there, and that's what the wire nut is for. Then you'll wire nut the red one to this. That way you're just kind of grabbing power off of that wire before it goes to the breaker. Yeah, and they really want you to use a 15 amp single pole breaker. After this, you're gonna click, I have the 50 amp current transmitters to install. So I've got eight of them. Then you're gonna clamp them over the breaker that you wanna put it on and monitor. Then you're going to run that wire down on the small ones. On the back side here, you're going to start at one. So go one through eight. And then you're going to put plugs in the ones that you don't use. Okay, so I installed the two big ones on the mains coming in the top. 
Now this was installed by a licensed electrician. I recommend labeling each one so you know which one you plug it into and write it down what number you put each one into. Now you do end up with quite a bit of excess cable. I just kind of zip tie it and put it over here in the corner. But again, just pay attention to the arrow where that says breaker, put it into the breaker. Okay, so it found it. Now I got to give it my Wi-Fi password. So it is connecting to it, but it does, it's going to take a little bit to make the connection. Okay, so I'm going to, it says name your view and I'm on central time. Looks like it's updating to the latest firmware. Could take as long as three minutes. Okay, so now you're going to enter in the details of each one. I'm already up to circuit three. I did write them down on a piece of paper. So circuit three, you're going to give it a name. I typed in air conditioner. The multiplier, I do need to multiply this because I only put it on one leg of the 240. So I'm going to backtrack to circuit type. It is a air conditioner. And then hit enter another one. Okay, so I entered in all of the that I needed to for e for all eight circuits. It didn't want me to take a picture with the camera on the phone. Now it needs access to my location. Okay, so you may want to take a picture of the tag on the thing you put in the circuit breaker panel, but I think this is it. It's connecting to it again with the Wi-Fi. Make sure the Wi-Fi is on your device also. Okay, so it only took about three minutes and it says it's done. Now it's displaying the electricity. So it looks like we can have a display by the second, by the hour, the minute. We've got graphs. I don't have a lot of information yet, so it's going to take a while to gather some information, but it does look like, let's go by the second. 